I love Life is Strange. It's my favorite game of all time by far. I love it so much. I love the characters. I love the story. I love the setting, the scenery, the mechanics, the pictures, the nostalgic feeling you get when you're playing it, everything. I can make a separate video talking about this game forever, but in this one, I'll be telling you about a few things that you might have missed while playing Life is Strange. Before we get into the video, I just want to remind you that this video will contain spoilers. If you haven't finished the game or just haven't played the game, what are you doing? Get the game, finish the game, then come back. Come back afterwards, okay? But for everyone else, Let's get into the video right now. In the first episode, Chrysalis, while Max and Chloe is rocking out in Chloe's room, David gets home and is literally pissed off at Chloe for blasting that punk shit. He tells us that he's coming upstairs and is really angry with Chloe. Chloe tells us to hide. The only hiding place is in Chloe's wardrobe. You'll see David and Chloe argue if she took his gun and later whose joint she was smoking. At this point, we can either choose to Who's step it? in or to stay hidden. If you decide to stay hidden, this will happen. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Even though it's hinted that David is abusive in some ways or another or very hard on Chloe, this is the only time we see him actually abuse her in the game. This one is quite known, but all the license plates reference tons of pop culture, TV programs, and movie titles, such as Warren's Card with T H X F L S, which stands for The X Files, and Chloe's truck referencing Twin Peaks, and most memorable, Frank's RV, B R K B D, Breaking Bad. Also, speaking of Breaking Bad. <laughs> With Breaking Bad being such a huge show, it's no surprise that a lot of games reference Breaking Bad some way or another. In Life is Strange, Frank is sort of like a parody on Breaking Bad, with him being a drug dealer and living in an RV, which is a reference by itself, of course. But if you help Warren with his experiment in episode 2, he will say, Check out the big brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. Before Kate tries to commit suicide, she will have a talk with Mr. Jefferson outside of class. The first time playing, you might just walk into them and see Kate running away from Mr. Jefferson. You can actually hear the whole conversation between Jefferson and Kate. Here it is. E, this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. That's really Excuse me, mean, Max. Mr. Jefferson. Can you come you over just, here? Oh, I see. I'm not important to you anymore. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Mr. Jefferson is a real creep, really creepy. In the last sequence, if you walk over around the bus, you can hear Jefferson say, Max, Rachel not only gave great headshots, she gave great head. Yeah, I was shocked too when I first heard it. However, the nightmare sequence is not based in reality. It's a reflection of all the events of the week in Max's decisions. It's meant to depict Max's feelings, especially her doubts, fears, and insecurities, and feelings of guilt. So whatever is being said in there might not have happened. Better not have, you weirdo Jefferson. I thought it could be funny to add this one here, since it's become a little bit of a meme in the community, especially on TikTok. Juliet's last name is Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Breaking the fourth wall is something every game or every show does at least once or twice. It's not really strange that they did this in Life is Strange 2. In Life is Strange, you break the fourth wall a couple of times, 
but my favorite part is probably in the last episode when we're in the bathroom at the diner. You need a code to get out of the bathroom. The code is pretty obvious since it's the only one showing up in the mirror, but if you keep putting in the wrong code about 50 times, Max will break the fourth wall and say, I'm going to make the designers pay for all these bullshit code puzzles. KateFit.com is the viral video of Kate at the Vortex party. Victoria posted it online and even at one point writes the URL on the mirror in the girls' bathroom in episode 2. KateVid.com is an actual link that used to lead to a blog with just one post and a video that was removed by YouTube, linking to the fact that Victoria actually took the video down after Kate's suicide attempt. However, it doesn't work anymore and it will redirect you to... Where... Inks... Website? I'm so sorry, I don't know how to say their name. <laughs> Kate Marsh is obviously depressed over the video of her at the Vortex party getting spread around at school. When we get access to go into her room and give back her book, we can actually look around her room and see really clear signs of depression. When you look around her room, everything is pretty dark, but if you turn up the brightness of the game, you can actually see fine details, such as this bottle of alcohol, either wine or whatever, is standing behind the little shelf indicating that kate might be drinking to drown away her sorrow i don't get wasted ever have you ever wondered who is calling victoria in episode one chrysalis if you look close you'll see that it's zachary or sack in the beginning of episode two out of time you can see warren looking into the dormitorium waiting for max to come outside it does look like he's trying to look into her window, but his perspective probably makes it difficult to see inside Max's room. So really, he's just looking for any sign that Max is awake. The only reason he's waiting for her is so he can ask her out on the movie drive-in date. It's not hard to notice that Warren has a huge crush on Max. From the Max folder on his hard drive to how he took the punch from Nathan for her. What solidifies the theory of Warren being a stalker is his locker which you can look into after walking past Samuel in the nightmare sequence. However, if Warren is a stalker or not seems to be up to your own interpretation. We actually already knew Jefferson's intentions from the start of the game. However, they hide it pretty well in the beginning, because you get distracted by the other things going around, or not listening well enough, or not really even thinking about how the game would end, and that's why we did not notice. But Jefferson will sit down and tell class what we basically know in the ending. It was in plain sight. Film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Light, I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. <sighs> now... Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? That was a few things that you might not have noticed in Life is Strange. If you enjoy this type of video and want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and comment and subscribe. If I miss something, please let me know in the comments. And if you guys want a part two, I would gladly make another one. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!